we switched our math curriculum and I'm really excited to share about it with you. Hey guys, it's Christine. If you are new to my channel, I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids and I share all things homeschool on this channel. Today, I'm going to be specifically talking about the new math curriculum we are using this year, why we made the switch, and what that curriculum entails, how it's the same, how it's different, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to have a video or two videos coming up of flip throughs of the individual grades that we're using. So keep an eye out for those because I know that they're super helpful when you're looking for curriculum reviews, etc. So first of all, I have a son who is in second slash third grade you know, as homeschoolers, we hold those kind of terms very loosely. And then my middle child is in first grade. And up until this point in our homeschool, we have been using the Good and the Beautiful Math. And I have been an avid fan of their math curriculum since I began homeschooling. So I started my son on their little K, their old version of math, when he was four and a half, I want to say. And he thrived on it. He did super well. When they brought their new math curriculum out, we switched to that and really enjoyed it. My daughter did level K last year. My son did their level two, two, level two. That's right. And um, yeah, we just did really well. I enjoyed it. And then this year we sat down on the first day of homeschooling and I had printed out level three for my son and grade uh, level two for, sorry, level one for my daughter. And my son sat down to do his third, his, his math. <laughs> goodness, my words are not working. Um, he sat to, to do his math and he needed a whole lot more assistance from me than I was expecting him to need. I was expecting him to be more independent this year than he had been last year. It was a big step up in the amount of content in level three. And I was just like, this is not going to work for us this year. I have a preschooler as well that I'm teaching this year. And I really, really needed my kids to be able to take their school and sit down and do it. And the math lesson just took too long. And um, I kind, I'd seen Math with Confidence uh, shared by a couple of other homeschool moms. And so I, it was on my radar, but I really had no desire to switch math curriculums because our math had worked so well for us. Um, I invested in all the math boxes and had them shipped to New Zealand. But I was just like, look, this is just not gonna work for our family. Like I cannot, I have to be able to work with all three of my children and the time that it took to get that lesson done was just too long. And I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not doing this. I don't want math to be a frustrating subject. Math has always been my son's strong suit. He loves math. I didn't want that to change. And so I went ahead and I purchased grade two from, of Math with Confidence. So this is the teacher's manual. You can purchase the PDF and you can Print, download and print it, which I did at home. I really need bigger coils. This is, I don't know what size it is, maybe 25 millimeters? I can't remember. Um, I really need to get some bigger coils because I'm gonna be need, I'll be printing out another one of these soon. Um, but you can print it out. It's very printer friendly and it was easy to print out. It's a very, I believe, affordable math curriculum. I thought it was very reasonably priced, but you get two components. So you get the uh, teacher's manual and this, you need this. This is not something that you can um, avoid having. This is where all the teaching comes from. So this is super important. Um, it's scripted lessons, very much open and go. The supplies that you need for each level are very clearly listed. You do need to source them yourself. But I found that um, a lot of the stuff was stuff we already had. Like a lot of it I could use from the Good and the Beautiful math boxes or even like their old math. I had them, the shapes and um, the blocks, like counter blocks. The only thing I went out and bought were uh, playing cards because we didn't have any which I, was kind of crazy playing cards and I also purchased some base 10 blocks which thankfully I found on clearance because they're re like don't I had like the biggest rant about this why are plastic blocks like 60 bucks I'm sorry but it's ridiculous like I was so irritated about that when I was looking for them I'm like why am I paying this much money for plastic blocks or like foam blocks so thankfully I found some that were on clearance after like hours of searching I found some on clearance for like 17 bucks so I was very happy with that um and when I'm 
citing that um, currency, I'm talking about New Zealand dollars, not US. So like, don't panic. If you're like, it's only $20, that's because it's US dollars. And like, yeah, anyway, over here, it's a lot more expensive. Everything's a lot more expensive here. So um, I did find some. So that's all I bought for that. And then everything else you can print out. A lot of the manipulative, she does have a print out option. So if you can't get base 10 blocks for whatever reason, you can print out print them out on cardstock and use them that way, but I wanted to have the tangible things. So um, that was really great. So you have this and then let me just grab it. And then this is the student workbook. So this is, these are workbook pages. And if you just looked at this on its own, you'd be like, that is like not teaching them anything. It's far too easy. This is meant to be as basically like a um, reinforcing of what they were just taught through the math lesson that you taught them. So, uh, and it is very independent. So I love that because I do the lesson with my kid and then I send them away with their workbook and they just go do what they've learned. Um, now this curriculum, because I've seen a little bit of debate over this as to whether it's a mastery style or a spiral style curriculum. And if you want to know the difference, mastery basically focuses on one subject and one subject only until it has been mastered and then the child moves on to the next subject. Whereas with spiral, it is um, concepts are introduced, but they're, they're constantly spiraled back to. So there's constant revision. And so in a math lesson, the good and the beautiful is very much like this. You're going to cover multiple uh, learning subjects and often you'll be learning about currency one day and then the next day you'll be learning about uh, addition. You know, like it's just there, it's very spiral and approach. Um, this curriculum, I would say, is more mastery leaning, but there's also a spiral aspect to it. And what I mean by that is, in the teacher's guide, I don't know if I can, I, it's probably hard to show you on camera, but the way that is um, laid out and Go and look at the flip through videos when they come out. I will share that with you. But the way that the lesson is uh, laid out is you have like a review section at the beginning of the lesson where you're going over concepts that your child is still working on or was previously taught. That's very similar to The Good and the Beautiful. They have the same sort of things. And those things are optional. If your child knows it already, you don't have to go over that with them. But if they're still working on it, you can go over that. Then you've got the lesson that you teach to your child and then they go away and they work in their workbook. And the way that the workbook is laid out is they do a front page and a back page every day. And the front page will be what they were taught in the lesson. And they're numbered, like it says uh, lesson 10.3a. So what that you just taught them in the lesson that day. And then the page at the back is all stuff that they have already been taught and taught in previous lessons and they're reviewing the concepts. So that's really nice because it means that when I'm like, what I'll do is I'll send my son um, off with his book and he'll do this page that he's, or we've already been over these before. So we can go away and do those independently while I do my daughter's math lesson with her. And then we can switch over and he does his math lesson with me and he does the front page and that kind of thing. So um, I can like switch off between the two of them. And that is what I mean by it's mostly mastery based, but there's also spiral learning in there as well because they are still constantly going over things. But the way that it's set up is in units. So each unit focuses on a specific learning skill. Um, it focuses like, for instance, we're currently doing subtraction facts. And so we're focusing just on those. And then um, he's also got the workbook where he's reviewing other concepts and also that little review section at the beginning of the lesson. So it's a bit of both. And so far I'm finding it incredibly helpful. It's really highlighted areas where my kids needed a little bit more work and it's given opportunity to really hone in on those and master those skills. So I've been very happy with that. Uh, things that you need to know about this course. It is very hands-on. You're going, you're, it's not something you can send your child away to do. You are going to have to teach them the lesson. However, the lessons are very simple to teach. Um, they're really fun and interactive. You're not going to need to spend a lot of money on manipulatives and stuff. Um, a lot of, I would say the vast majority of manipulatives are shared between grade levels. And so that's been really easy because I only need like one of each thing. Um, I forgot to grab the folder, but there's at the back of these books, the teacher's guides, there are printable items. So for instance, here, you've got your 200 chart. So these have got all the numbers to 200. And you print that out 
um, to use. So what I did was I printed out all those things and laminated the things that needed laminating and I put them into a three ring binder and I keep like our index cards in there and like some scratch paper just so that I can like write on there and I just grabbed that folder out and just I can easily go through there and grab the things we need out for each lesson and each lesson is laid out and it shows you what resources you need for every lesson so you can quickly grab those before you start math and the way that I do it is uh, we do all our group subjects and then we break for a morning tea break and while the kids are having their break and I have a little break too I then go and like grab what I need for their math and then we sit down and do it so it's already ahead of time um and you can make up your own math box there are lots of instructions in this uh teacher's guide it like walks you through everything you need to do how you need to prepare for things something that I feel is unique to this curriculum is that it is very um helpful in the sense that it shows you why you're teaching a concept or why you're teaching a, a specific way so that you're not just like giving out random facts to your child without really being able to explain to them why they need to know that because you know what kids are like <laughs> they love to know why everything works the way it works and all that and so it gives you a deeper understanding of the math itself and why we're do using it. So I really appreciate that. There are lots of notes to the parents in here. Um, it is simple and straight to the point, but also fun and engaging. The games have been so much fun. There are so many games throughout this. And I think what we may do as the year goes on or perhaps next year is sometimes I'm going to get my son to play the games with my daughter while I work with my other child because they're quite close in age and in grade levels and so I think they'll be able to do that quite easily and um, it's just really really fun so I've loved it my kids have loved it I would say the way that it is comparable to the good and the beautiful is that it is fun and engaging there's lots of manipulatives um, there's it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's more of a mastery-based curriculum than The Good and the Beautiful, and it is simplified. There's not as, there's not stories and that kind of thing, but Math with Confidence still draws on a child's imagination. Like it'll often, for instance, here's one thing. Um, for the story problems, like my son's been doing story problems lately, and I'll show him how to do a story problem, whatever, and then it'll say, okay, here is an addition equation. Now you tell me three different stories of how, like that uses that equation. So then my son will be like, okay, well I had three apples and the horse ate two of them. So how many do I have left? That kind of a thing. And so it's still drawing on their imagination. There's been this fun like number machine that we made and like, yeah, it's really good. So I highly recommend it. I've been enjoying it so much. If you have a child who like you love the good and the beautiful but they're not necessarily thriving on it I think this is very much worth looking at now right now they only have preschool through I think preschool is just called preschool at home it's separate from the series the math with confidence series but math with confidence currently only has um from grade k through two grade three is coming out this year and she plans to release up to grade six so thankfully my kids fall into that um, and we can use it. I do plan on using the kindergarten level with my preschooler next year. Um, I just, I'm really, really happy with this. I feel very comfortable using it. I feel like I'm not missing stuff with my kids. Um, there have been people who call it gentle. I don't think it's gentle. I think that it's very thorough. And um, I think that it goes deep as opposed to wide, if that makes sense. And I, at this stage in my children's math journey, I think that deep is more important than wide, personally. I think they need to really, really master their number sense and number skills because that will make math that much easier as they get older. Um, if you still don't have your addition skills and your multiplication and subtraction down pat by the time you're getting up to like middle school and high school math, it's going to be a lot harder for you. So um, that's just something I really feel happy about with this curriculum. Uh, you can get the physical copies, obviously. They are super affordable. I got these from Well Trained Mind. I will try and remember to leave a link in the description below. Um, but that is second grade, and this is first grade, and we're really loving them. I will do flip through videos, I promise you. 
that's why we made the decision. Uh, did I tell you why I um, switched with my daughter? Because I told you I switched with my son. So my daughter um, just wasn't thriving <laughs> with her math. And she I just knew she really needed something that was a lot more thorough and mastery based. And so that's why I ended up switching her. So I switched both my kids within the first week of the school year and I have no regrets thus far. I'm very, very happy with the switch and plan to continue using it for the foreseeable future. So I hope that was helpful. Um, the flip throughs that will be coming will also give you more of an in-depth view into how it works um, and how a lesson might look. And hopefully I'll be able to do some videos um, that show us like doing a lesson uh, so you can see what it looks like in an everyday crazy, disrupted setting <laughs> that homeschool house is. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions for me, leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars.